Hi guys, my name is Todd. Uh, welcome to my first of hopefully many Disney vlogs. I wanted to kind of start vlogging my experience of planning, booking and going to Walt Disney World and I might do a few other vlogs about my life and my experiences but yeah welcome to my first ever vlog. It's going to be very Disney heavy so if you ain't a Disney fan log off delete the account okay so welcome on board I wanted to kind of start vlogging um, especially because I've got an upcoming Disney trip planned I've been watching a lot of vlogs recently that have been a bit of an inspiration to me so you've got the likes of the Tim Tracker you've got Disney in detail Victoria excuse the squeaking in the background that is my dog Ellie thank you so yeah, like I was saying, um, I've been really inspired by a few people um, who have got vlogs out there. So the Tim Tracker, um, Victoria from um, Disney in Detail, the WDW Couple, Jen LaForge, Adam Hatton. Loads, there's loads and loads of vloggers out there that do a lot of Disney stuff. I've got my Disney ears on and I wanted to do a vlog. Because why not? It's 2019. This stuff happens, okay people? So let me just take this off because it's quite annoying me. In September last year, no, August last year, um, I decided to book a trip to Walt Disney World, Florida. I haven't been since 2013, um, and that was, um, I used to work there, so in my, so if I give you a little bit of a backstory of my love and devotion to the Disney magic, um, I worked there for a summer back in 2008. 11 years ago, I worked in entertainment um, because I'm a performer, that's what she does. I was friends with certain characters in the parks. Um, it was an incredible, incredible, incredible summer. Um, hot, humid, amazing, drunken in some aspects. And then I went to work at Walt Disney World again in Epcot this time in the World Showcase at the UK Pavilion. Um, where I was a server, well I was a cultural representative in the UK Pavilion so I worked in the Rose and Crown so that started off being a seater and greeter working in the chip shop, the famous chip shop everybody raves about the fish and chips there but whether or not they've improved in the last 10 years I don't know but when I was there uh, they were questionable um, and then you worked on to become a server so that's when you get the cash monies um, working for them tips, um, which was an absolutely incredible year. I managed to do stuff that I never thought I'd ever be able to do, working in America for a whole year, experiencing Disney every day, uh, meeting people from all over the world, um, mainly America, um, and being able to travel a little bit. So I managed to go to San Diego, I managed to go to the Bahamas, I managed to go to New York um, in my year there. And it was absolutely incredible. Um, one of my best friends I met out there and we've been pretty much inseparable ever since. Um, but that was um, absolutely fantastic. And that was through a company called Yummy Jobs, which you can apply for um, because they kind of rely on UK people working at the UK Pavilion to make it authentic for the cast members there to be from those respective countries. So you've got China, Japan, Canada, Italy, France, Germany, the UK, um, you've got all these people across the world coming to work at Walt Disney World to make that experience for their guests totally authentic and that those people, those cast members that are working there are from those countries so it's absolutely incredible that Disney do that and allow us to do that so that's great and it was one of the best years of my life. Um, but anyway, I digress. Um, so I booked this holiday back in August. I was doing a bit of research. I started watching some vloggers like I mentioned, the Tim Tracker, Disney Detail, Adam Hatton, um, all those kind of people. And just was like, I need to book this gig. Um, so I was going through what I wanted to do and I was like, I'm gonna kind of crunch the numbers and then decided to go, meh, F it. I'm booking it. So we have managed to book um, two weeks in Port Orleans French Quarter. I was kind of 
um and ahhing about what to do. There was the free dining plan um, offer on at the time, so I booked French Quarter for two weeks, upgraded to the table service uh, Disney dining plan. If you don't know what the Disney dining plan is, then it's kind of like a credit system, so you get included each night. Um, a table service meal, so a sit-down meal where you get a server, a quick service meal, which is where you go to one of the counters and you get like a, um, a main meal and a drink and whatnot, and then you get two snacks, so they could be anything from a bottle of water to a funnel cake covered in all the goodness. Um, and you get a refillable mug, which is which is um, really, really handy when you're in the resort and you're having a pool day, and you're chilling, and you just want a bit of a lemonade. So two weeks, um, Managed to get that for a reasonable price, Oof. but the flight separately because obviously flights aren't available that far in advance because we go in September. Um, so booked August last year to go September this year. So we're going to be there for uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So we're going to do that and then we're having a night at the um, Royal Pacific over at Universal Studios to take, uh, to take advantage of the Express Pass. That was a handy hint that I picked up from going on It's Orlando Time in um, Facebook group. Lots of people did it. One night, express pass for both days that you're in the parks. Bish bash bosh. Saving yourself a fortune just by spending one night in one of those hotels. So there's three hotels that you can stay in. The Hard Rock, the um, Royal Pacific and the Portofino. Um, all of which give you express pass for the days that you are there from check-in to check-out. Um, so we're going to take fully advantage of that and plus we're going to be on site for Halloween Horror Nights which I'm super excited about um, because they've got the Stranger Things, Scare Maze, they've got other Scare Mazes and they've just announced that there's going to be a Ghostbusters one as well which is pretty, pretty epic like. So over a period of time when you book a Disney holiday you have certain windows that you can start to book things in. So from 180 days, you can start booking in restaurants that you want to sit at, table service restaurants, and just to make sure that you've got that reservation, some of the restaurants book up like that. Um, so you've got the likes of Be Our Guest Restaurant. Um, you have to book that because it, even though it's a quick service for breakfast and lunch, it's a sit down table, me table meal in the evening. So even being able to book for lunch and breakfast, it's like gold dust. So um, the Be Our Guest Restaurant is absolutely beautiful, it's all based on Beauty and the Beast, it's breathtaking, it's so immersive. I remember going there in 2013 and just like, am I in a film? Oh, it's great. Um, so on the 180 day window, logged on, did my Disney experience app, booked all the things that I wanted to do. I am still swapping and changing to this day and I have I think 57 days to go and I'm still like, hmm. Mm, don't want to do that, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, we'll change that. Um, and then 60 days, you get to book fast passes. So you have three fast passes per day in the park that you are there for that day. Um, so that's Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, or um, Animal Kingdom. Three of the parks have a tiered system, so you've got tier one and tier two. So tier one are kind of like the, the, the big, rides that you want to do in those parks. So for example in Hollywood Studios it's Rock and Roller Coaster, it's Tower of Terror and the newly opened Slinky Dog Dash and Alien Sources from Toy Story Land which I'm really excited to see because that's going to be incredible. Um, I've been watching all the videos and people have been like losing their minds over it so and it's really really busy all the time so fast passes are essential. So. The tier one you can only book one of per day and then you've got tier two um, attractions which you can book two of. The only exception to that is Magic Kingdom where you can book any fast pass you want whether it's Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, Peter Pan's Flight or It's a Small World. Who books a fast pass for It's a Small World? I don't know. Maybe a kid is absolutely crazy on it but for me I would not waste a fast pass on It's a Small World because it's not a small word. You know what I mean? So yeah, um, fast passes are booked, restaurants are booked, everything is booked, paid for, gig is down. So I'm super excited. I kind of wanted to just kind of go through my plans with you and show you what I have decided to do each day. So we get there on a Sunday, get on the Magical Express, which is a free shuttle bus for 
guests who are staying in Disney hotels. So a free shuttle bus from um, Orlando all the way to our resort, which is going to be French Quarter, um, which I'm really excited about because I, I, I like the Louisiana vibe, the New Orleans kind of Mardi Gras, all that kind of stuff. I, I'm a massive fan of and I can't wait to taste those beignets. The boozy beignets look incredible. Thanks Disney food blog, AJ. Welcome, welcoming them into my life. They look incredible. I'm gonna be trying those. I'll be definitely be just going snack, 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 eat, eat, eat. I'm gonna probably come back two stone heavier. I don't care. Tuesday, we're gonna be at Hollywood Studios in the morning, uh, early afternoon. Then we've got a reservation at the Storybook Dining with Snow White, and then we go on to do the Mickey's Not Too Scary Halloween party stuff. So Tuesday's gonna be a busy day. Wednesday, we are going to be at Epcot for the first time, food and wine, eat all the things, do all that stuff. Um, then the Thursday, we're gonna be at Animal Kingdom, Flight of Passage, down. Um, that is the main attraction, Flight of Passage, that's, for, that's part of Pandora, which is, Avatar. Second film's coming out soon. Just saying. Friday, Saturday and Sunday we've kind of got chill days, booked a few restaurants. On the Sunday we're doing the brunch at the um, California Grill which I can't wait for. I'm a massive foodie and the menu looks amazing and it's all you can drink mimosas and that is a win in my book. Because it's my holiday. You gotta treat yourself. Do you know what I mean? Can you relate? Or you can drink mimosas in Disney. The Monday, we are then back at Epcot. Tuesday, we are, what are we doing Tuesday? Hollywood Studios, I think, Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, we're at um, Islands of Adventure and Universal with Halloween Horror Nights. Hopefully, do vo Volcano Bay as well. Um, I've not been to Volcano Bay since it's opened. Friday we are at Animal Kingdom and then Saturday is our last day which will be Magic Kingdom because you've got, you've got to start your holiday at Disney in Magic Kingdom and you've got to finish it in Magic Kingdom because that's the castle, that's where the magic is, that's where the fireworks are, that's where the shows are, that's where the parades are. <sighs> Can't wait. It's going to be ace. Absolutely incredible. And I'm going to buy all the merch. I'm going to eat all the food. I'm going to buy all the things, I'm going to do all the things, I'm going to meet all the characters, I'm going to do everything that I can possibly do in two weeks, and I can't freaking wait, it's going to be the best holiday ever. Uh -uh. That's one thing I'm going to miss. All the shows around High School Musical, because when I was there, when I worked there, it was peak High School Musical, and it was the best thing ever and there was this parade in Hollywood Studios which was all around Pixar and that's not going to be there so there's going to be lots of different things that I'm going to experience and the biggest thing that's going to happen whilst I'm there is Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is going to be open two weeks before I get there so I'm not a massive Star Wars fan I don't think I've seen a single film all the way through. I'm a massive Imagineer fan, so the fact that they've built this whole immersive experience based on Star Wars is absolutely incredible. Um, going to the cantina and having some drinks, going and getting some Ronto wraps. It's going to be incredible, and the things that I've seen of it so far, it just looks out of this world. Literally. I know the crowds are going to be a bit cray, but hopefully everyone's going to be in Galaxy's Edge so I can just go and live my best life in the rest of the park and not have to worry. Um, so I can't wait. Um, I'm going to see whether I can vlog it as much as I possibly can. Whether with this camera, this camera is a fancy camera. But the only thing else that I have is my phone. So quality might not be great, but hopefully content will be top notch. So with that being said, I wanted to kind of leave the blog, the blog, the vlog there. Um, I've done 20 minutes. This is gonna be edited down and I don't know if this lighting is working for me, but uh, see you soon. Bye -sies.